Jay's tunnel here. Look what we got. Leptocephalus larvae. It's pretty crazy looking, huh? It's actually a juvenile, actually not a juvenile, it's a larval stage of probably an eel. We've got a bunch of them washing up right now. I mean, I was walking along and in 10 feet, I'd, there would be like 20 of them. There's a, a bunch of them washing in. Uh, this one's uh, uh, barely alive, but still moving around a little bit. But these are the larval stage uh, to eels, uh, also to tarpon, to bonefish, uh, ladyfish, uh, you know, skipjacks. A lot of people like to catch those, but this is the, uh, what they look like. They're uh, transparent. They have a little bitty eye. They're hard to tell the difference between the species, but um, we, we think that this one is actually, you know, all of these that are washing up is maybe a conger eel or shrimp eel larvae or something like that. But there's a whole bunch of them. Um, you might be wondering what leptocephalus means. Well, it, that's Latin, and so lepto is slim, and cephalus is head, so slim head. And I'll show some close-ups of this, but you can really see the head is very tiny, and then it has an elongated body. They feed on uh, particles and things like that, and they can actually be in this stage for about three months which is very different than a lot of other fish. Most fish, uh, they're in a larval stage, it might only be days, uh, maybe weeks, but you know, several months, that, that's a long time. And so um, we, these are actually found uh, worldwide, the leptocephalus, you know, clear larval stage of some of these species. We'll take these back to the lab and try to identify the exact species. But there sure are a bunch of them out here. That one has a lot of sand on it. Okay, we're off the beach. Uh, I got a sample of these eels that I'm taking in and I'm gonna talk to the researchers here, the fish researchers at the Sport Fish Center. I'm gonna go talk to them at the Heart Research Institute uh, so we can find out exactly what these clear little what I think our eels are, but uh, you know, the leptocephalus. So let's go inside to their lab and, uh, and see what they have. All right, let's see what we got. Oh, you've done this before. <laughs> okay right so the first thing that i'm looking for because it is a leptocephala which means ribbon like i see it's a nice flat thin animal here uh right now it's opaque and that's because of the chemicals that it was preserved in the ethanol will make it turn opaque or this white color but when you find it out there in the field and in nature, it's gonna be see-through. So they're commonly called these uh, glass eel. This is an eel. Uh, the first thing I'm looking for is I kind of look towards the back end and I'm looking for a dorsal or anal fin. And the dorsal and anal fin location, whether or not they overlap, um, is a determining factor between a ladyfish and a tarpon. Uh, so I look at the end of this and I don't see any dorsal or anal fins. I just see it kind of ending in the tail, which is, and the length of the, the leptocephala as well is kind of telling me that it's more likely a, uh, an eel in the beginning life phases. Okay, wow, that was very informative. Um, I'm leaving the heart now. I'm going to go and uh, get back on the beach. Uh, I want to check out, and um, I'm actually interested to see if maybe there's more than one species of those coming in. But that will be another beach coming for another day. So we'll talk to you later. Bye.